okay consider money lender who faces two types of potential borrowers uh, the safe type and the risky type each type of borrower needs a loan of the same size and to invest in some project the borrower can repay only if the investment provides sufficient returns to cover the repayment so the safe type is always able to secure return r from the investment okay so basically safe type so there are two types of uh, uh, potential borrowers uh, the type and the risky type uh, from the safe type you can always uh, secure a return okay uh, okay on the other hand the risky type is an uncertain pros pros uh, prospect uh, he he can obtain a high return r prime but only with probability p with probability 1 minus p the investment backfires and he gets a return of zero okay uh, the money lender has enough funds to lend to just one applicant and there are two of them one risky and one safe each borrower knows his own type but the money lender does not know the borrower types okay uh, so uh, so borrower knows you know whether he's risky type or uh, whether he's a safe type but the lender doesn't know you know who is he facing whether he's facing someone who is a risky uh, you know risky type or or the safe type okay he just knows that one is safe and the other is risky so basically this is the only thing that uh, uh, that uh, you know the lender knows that there is a half chance that the person is risky and there is a half chance that the person is is a safe type okay uh, since the money lender has enough funds to lend to just one applicant when both the borrowers apply for the loan he gives a loan randomly to one of them say by tossing a coin okay assume that the lender supplies a loan from his own resources and his opportunity cost is zero what is the highest interest rate okay so what is the highest uh, interest rate call it is for which the safe borrower wants the loan and what is the highest interest rate ir for which the risky borrower wants a loan and who is willing to pay a higher interest rate the risky or the safe borrower okay so that is what we have to figure out okay so let's do this uh uh okay so let's first write all this information okay and then then uh, we'll we'll proceed and do this problem okay okay so there are two types safe and risky so the loan amount is l okay so this is the loan amount or the size of the loan okay and uh, so basically there is a risk in the sense that you know uh, the board whether the borrower will be able to repay or not uh you know uh that depends on uh you know if the investment provides sufficient returns okay so suppose a safe type is always able to secure a return of r okay so safe type you know the return is r okay and it is greater than the loan amount okay it's greater than l okay and uh, the risky type it's an uncertain project so he can obtain a high return okay so risky type okay uh we have r prime which is greater than r so basically risky type can actually get a return even more than r okay uh which the safe type gets okay so r prime is greater than r and we know r is greater than l so r is also greater than l okay uh on the other hand the risky type is an uncertain project so he can obtain a higher return only with probability p so this is going to happen with probability p okay and uh, with probability 1 minus p the investment backfires and he gets a return of zero in that case he'll not be able to repay you know l is that okay fine so with probability 1 minus p he's going to get zero okay so the money lender has enough funds to lend to just one applicant 
so that's a constraint he cannot lend to both uh, and there are two of them one risky and one safe each borrower knows his own type so borrower knows who he is whether he's a risky type or a safe type and uh, money lender does not know the borrower's type okay so money lender doesn't know whether he's dealing with the safe type or the risky type he just knows that one is safe and the other is risky since the mon money lender has enough funds to just lend to one applicant when both the borrowers apply for the loan he gives the loan randomly to one of them one of them say by tossing a coin so that means you know both of them are applying he doesn't know who is who so he's just going to toss a coin you know if it's heads then he's going to he's going to give it to one if it's tails he's going to go give it to two okay so it is like uh, a random variable okay whether one gets a loan or the second gets a loan it's a random variable is that okay assuming that lender uh, supplies the loan from his own resources and his opportunity cost is zero now what is the highest interest rate for which the safe borrower wants a loan now that's very easy right i mean uh so l into one plus i s should be equal to r because because uh you know uh, if this is a loan amount then uh, uh then this is the highest interest rate at which uh you know he would be willing to take the loan because if the interest rate is higher than this then he he wouldn't want to take the loan because his return is r he takes a loan of l and you know if if is is greater than you know uh if is is high enough basically high enough means that this term is greater than r then he wouldn't want the loan right because he would just return r you know if if the if the interest rate is this much high so what are the values of is for which he would want to take the loan the value of is for which he would want to take the loan will satisfy this inequality okay and the highest interest rate will be the one where this holds with an equality is that okay fine okay so what are we going to get l plus l i s equals r and this is going to give you l i s equals r minus l and then this is going to give you i s equals r minus l by l okay so this is the highest interest rate you know at which uh, uh the safe borrower wants a loan is that clear yes sir okay uh, now you can do the same thing for this one what is the highest interest rate for which the risky borrower wants a loan now the risky borrower will return the loan only with probability p notice that the borrower can repay only if the investment provides sufficient returns to cover the repayment is that okay so he'll be only able to repay provided this r prime happens okay and this r prime will happen with probability p make sense yes or no yes sir r prime yeah so all that you have to do is if you want to if you want to figure out what is the highest interest rate ir for which this risky borrower wants a loan uh you know you will you will just hold this okay uh so uh so obviously he doesn't have to make any payment you know if if uh if uh you know the investment doesn't provide enough return right he doesn't have to make any payment in that scenario do you agree mm, yes sir given in this question that you know he can only repay if the investment provides sufficient returns right so in the event that uh you know he doesn't get any return from his investment he doesn't have to repay anything so he just needs to repay in a situation where he do get the return okay so obviously in that case he's just going to compare r prime whether r prime is greater than or equal to l into 1 plus i r or not okay the reason is because in the other scenario he doesn't return anything so he's just bothered about the scenario where he does get a return and in that case he would want his return to be at least as much as 
you know what he what he has to repay okay he has to repay this much okay so obviously you know you're going to get again the same thing ir is the highest ir is r minus l r prime minus l upon l this is the highest ir who is willing to pay a higher interest rate obviously the risky guy because r prime is bigger than r so the risky guy is willing to pay the highest return uh, well the uh, the higher return make sense yes sir the risky guy pay the higher return yeah so risky guy would want to pay the higher return because you know he's uh, he's definitely going to willing to pay the higher return because uh, because he doesn't have to pay anything if he loses right okay yeah. so he's just pay his return um you know in the winning state uh and then he's going to figure out you know what is the uh what is the interest rate that he's willing to pay you know uh, for for getting this loan okay now you can try the other parts yourself is that fine 